Let's add the fractions 3 fourths plus 2 fifths. Here's how you do it. We need to get a common denominator. We need to have the same denominators. If we do that, then we just add the numerators and we'll have added 3 fourths plus 2 fifths. Probably the easiest way here is to multiply 4 times 5. 5 times 4, that would equal 20. And over here, we can multiply 5 times 4. 5 times 4, that equals 20. And that would give us the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominators. We need to also multiply the numerators. So here we'll multiply by 5. The reason is 5 over 5, that's just 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we don't change the value just the way it's represented. Over here, since we multiplied the denominator by 4, let's multiply the numerator by 4, essentially 1. So now 5 times 5, that's 15. 5 times 4 is 20. And 15 over 20, that's the same as 3, 4. If you divide 3 by 4 or 15 by 20, you get 0 0.75. These are equivalent fractions. And over here, 2 times 4 is 8. 5 times 4 is 20. We have the same denominator. We can just add the numerators. So 15 plus 8, that's 23. And we just bring the 20 across. When we add fractions, since we have the same denominator, we just keep that the same. This is an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator, so you could change it to a mixed number. 20 goes into 23 one time with 3 left over. So as a mixed number, it would be 1 and 3 twentieths. But in answer to our question, when we add 3 fourths plus 2 fifths, we end up with 23 over 20, or 1 and 3 twentieths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.